There is no point in my saying that there is no such thing as consciousness, but what do you have to say on that subject? Do you believe that there is consciousness? How do you become, how do you become conscious of things? Through consciousness? No, through the knowledge you have of the things. You know? the, the sensory perceptions do not tell you anything. You see, as I was saying the other day, if there is no light, you can't see anything here. It's total darkness. The reflection of the light activates the uh, optic nerves and throws an image on the retina. This is what we are told by the physiologists, but you have no way of actually experiencing even uh, what they are saying. You know, they can take you to a laboratory and uh, give a knock here and say that this is the stimulus and the response is to this stimulus. But actually, <coughs> there is no way you can separate the stimulus and response. It is one unitary moment. So when this image is cast on the retina, which is like a mirror, you do not know what it is. Huh? So in this process, it also activates the, the neurons in the brain, which is memory, and tells you what it is. But there is a very, very, very small gap between the two. People imagine that the thoughts are very fast, but actually they are very slow. But the physical perceptions are so fast and so quick, there is no time for that to capture and contain and give expression to it. It will tell you that this is uh, a tape recorder, that's a video camera, that's a woman, that's a man, that is white, that is black. There is no time for that at all, you see. So for some reason, you have to maintain your identity, or you, or I, or whatever you want to call yourself, all the time. So you always demand to experience the same thing over and over and over again. It is that that is wearing you out. It is using tremendous amounts of energy. So much so you don't have any energy to deal with the problems of living in this world. So going back to the question of consciousness, uh, you become conscious of that only through the knowledge you have of that. If that knowledge is absent, unfortunately the knowledge is there all the time. What you call you is nothing but the totality of knowledge. Huh? The you as you know, you are structure of Vedantic thought. Because it is that that creates the subject. There is no such thing as a permanent entity here at all. Anybody there, there is no center, there is no eye, there is no entity there. So this camera is operated by the things that are happening outside there. You know? So when the eyes are focused on something there, it is that red light, whatever is there in that red light, is the one that is demanding complete to total attention in that frame. And then you are moving your fingers, it has moved from there to here. So you are the one that is operating the camera here, and there is no cameraman or a camera woman here who is operating the camera. I'm going to give you a talk. <laughs> So when once you are lucky to be free, I don't want to use the word free, quote and unquote, for purposes of communication, I might as well use the word free, from the totality of man's thoughts and experiences, what you are left with is this living organism with a tremendous sensitivity of its own. All the sensory perceptions function at their peak capacity and so there is no room for the thought to interfere and to translate every sensation within the framework of the knowledge you have of the particular objects you are looking at or the particular things that are happening there inside of you. That means uh, it's like a kid, that is just newborn kid. <coughs> we don't know how the kids uh, function. It's no, because we say. kid is not superimposed with uh, education or something. So it may not know this his hand. Yes. So, so it does not mean that you, it does not mean that I do not know all the knowledge that is put in there in the computer is there available when there is a demand. It is not a self-operating computer. You are operating the 
computer here, yeah. the printout is yours. You are asking the question, for example, show me your hand. So, a hand it is, I say it is my hand, because I have to say that it is not your hand, it is my hand for purposes of communication. There is no way I can identify this with my own hand, myself and say this is my hand, except when you ask the question, show me your hand, I show this, whose hand it is, it is my hand. Any grander purpose other than say, the garden slug out there or mosquito uh, that is sucking you in bread. But we are made to believe by our culture that we are created for some specific and grander purpose. Manava Janva Durlabham, structure of Hindu thought is bent on that foundation. And, uh, and the whole creation is created for our benefit. And that is why we have created and still creating all these ecological problems, the problems of uh, pollution of waters. You, you have all kinds of slogans everywhere, no pollute the waters because we will have to eat that pollution or some such thing. So, so there is no way out of that. You know, individually, uh, probably you can solve your own problem for yourself by yourself. Collectively, there isn't a chance. <laughs> uh, my, uh, come on. Sir, I understand you were born and raised up in a family was rich, very rich. religious background. Born with a silver spoon and so many silver spoons came along my way. Yes, sir. And uh, your father I, I lived with the criminals, murderers, rapists, uh, the, the saints, sages, masterminds, named everybody, you see. And, and I did all these <coughs> things in my I see. life. You childhood days, you met Led Peter, yes. 100%. Yes. And you were with Chris Murdy for seven years. Yes. And uh, you broke away from the all. Yes. Nobody and could give I, me. I couldn't make Nobody any, could give me what I was seeking. I couldn't make out what you are. You see, I like to know. Try. I like to know your the, the moment the, your concept of religion. No, 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 no. The moment you figure out what I am saying, what I am, you will destroy me. That's what I am interested in. You see, all those who existed before me. They don't count at all. See, you will touch life at a point where nobody touched before you. How that will express itself, you will never know. Now or even then, I guarantee. You will be something extraordinary. Something extraordinary will come out of it. Nobody ever said like that before you. I'm not giving you a carrot, you see, please. <laughs> so you just leave it in that, you see. You don't know. I myself don't know. Can you? I have no way of knowing. I can't say this is me. If I said my, to myself that I'm a free man, I tell you, it has to protect itself. It will fight to the last or run away. You are aware of our consciousness. No, 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 no. I'm just answering his question. consciousness is aware of the, all the times. <laughs> this is not awareness that I'm talking about. This is a response so, to his question. But response can come if I remain silent, it, if I remain silent, it would be worse. He will read something into the silence there. Yeah, this is a problem. You want that to come to an end? You can't be interested. So in let what? the interpretation go on. It's, it will go on whether you like it or not. And when but, that comes to an end, the death takes place. If that comes to an end, now you will drop dead. Yes, but at the same time, he said there's an intelligence for the organism which we are interfering yes. with by interpreting. By interpreting so what everything, there is nothing that you can do. What can you do? I want to leave, I want I to go, uh, rather flow with the intelligence of the organism. How there, can I do that? There, there How are, can I do that? There is a somebody there trying to flow with the flow of things. So is that, that an is eternal separating me? you? Is there an eternal me there? No. No? The answer is no. You don't have to do a thing. Whatever you do is separating you from the flow of things. But I am the flow. If I am the flow of the things. If. <laughs> <laughs> Be that flow. What is? 
Why you have put me in this situation? <laughs> 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 That's really great. <laughs> we appreciate it. We always come back for more. <laughs> we like it. <laughs> we, don't get, we don't feel offended. Some people may don't like agree, of course. And even they think deeply. I, I, I was pleased with the audience. I was responding to all of them. They even wanted to carry on the dialogue with me afterwards. They were very happy too. Very happy. Huh? They were very happy. Very happy. Yeah. Uh, then the man that wanted to touch your foot, feet. Oh, uh, that's another strange fellow who was asking questions there. Yeah. He's a Sindhi, I think. He wanted to touch my feet. That's Indian. Is that the Indian version? <laughs> you the one man. <laughs> the one man. I told him the same, same, same energy, same, same dust in there. <laughs> <laughs> the one guru who, who is not the guru and he is the guru. <laughs> I would say make this one is not a guru, he is the guru. <laughs> one who is not a guru is the real guru, he says. You have other ways of insulting me. <laughs> Why? Who's eating? I always eat nothing else. Half of it I've already eaten. <laughs> this chocolate. Is it gone already? <laughs> On its way. <laughs> if we stayed here longer, nothing would be left. Which is better, that or the Toblerone? White. Please. Don't buy again. No. no. Have you ever been to the prison, murder's place in California? Oh, yeah. Very bad vibes, oh. vibrations. For Valentine stayed there, but I stayed 30 miles away from. Oh, this, is, this is very pretty there, very, yeah. nice, very nice, very pretty. Of no quality. But where I live is nicer. <laughs> Lot of the road, huh? pavements, road, mm -hmm. and you were shooting. Mm -hmm. oh. <laughs> this, uh, this is all right from behind. These are not holes. I see. Now the lace goes through this, but there is a leather here. I see. Only this part I don't like. It can be covered with some. <laughs> yes, uh, I think we can uh, find some sort of, of leather, <laughs> le leather, but I don't know whether we can get the same color. But you can use glue on the paste on top. <laughs> yeah, that's what he should. If you have to take gobbler, he needs to sew it. No, no, no sewing. Only here it, he will. You just take a piece of leather. Stick it. Stick it. Something similar or some slightly mm. different. <clears throat> Maybe the guy down in Tokyo department store. <laughs> no, he can't. Not very hard to get people to do this job. You buy shoes, yes. We don't have to cope right now. Somewhere, somewhere in the leather. streets, yeah. you can, yeah, some Temple to. Street. <laughs> yeah, you may be there. Somewhere there. around their area. What is the other thing? Uh, I want one uh, bag of this size to put my mm -hmm. nylon, preferably this size. Not expensive leather or anything, it doesn't matter. To put that uh, word finder. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Then my shopping will be over. 
those why you are so fascinated by those uh, shoes for some time not regularly so when i whenever i get a new one i always just keep one pair well you had sore feet because you've been walking so much in new york uh -huh. you've been walking a lot in new york and your feet were sore he said yeah but this is the best one why you are thank you i Cheese and crackers. Yeah, I had cheese. I had. You had? Yeah. I will be hungry very soon. I know. You are growing young. <laughs> oh, <no. laughs> My stomach is not not very big. Each time can only have a little. Yeah. And then I feel yeah. very full. Yes, but yeah. I will become hungry very yeah, soon. Yeah, very soon. That's mm. great. That's very healthy. Frequently mm. eat. Frequently eat. Around 11, I'll be hungry. Every hour and the hour you eat? No. What do you do with all this? Uh...